Welcome back. Today, the North Dakota Department of Human Services announced help is available for homeowners struggling financially. They're looking to help those at risk of housing instability because of past due mortgage payments, utilities, or other housing-related costs. Here to discuss that in tonight's KX Conversation is David Floor, the Executive Director of the North Dakota Housing Finance Agency. David, thanks for being here. Thanks, Nick. Absolutely. Nice to be here. Certainly. Thanks for being here. So, first of all, uh, why now for this program? Um, well, uh, the U.S. Treasury Department allocated uh, $50 million for this Homeowner Assistance Fund, or North Dakota is calling it Help for Homeowners program, uh, back in 21. Um, so we had to submit, there had to be a plan submitted to the uh, U.S. Treasury Department. Um, and we, at North Dakota Housing, we were assisting uh, Department of Human Services in creating that plan. Um, and then some of the administration of the program too. So it just took a while to get the plan in and get it approved by Treasury. Um, and all f they had to deal with all 50 states, at, you know, to go through those plans and, and approve them and that. So it took a while. Sure. So how does a program work? Okay. Uh, there, it's set up in, there's three different pools of money, so to speak. Uh, first one is for, uh, it's the homeowner reinstatement program. Mm -hmm. So as, if someone was affected by COVID, say they lost their job uh, or lost part of their income due to COVID, uh, they maybe had to go into a, get a, what's called a loan forbearance or a loss mitigation with their loan servicer. Um, the, there was a, uh, you know, a foreclosure moratorium uh, nationwide and there was a forbearance requirement on loan servicers like our agency uh, that we had to pr basically take our own funds and make payments for those homeowners and give them that forbearance for, started out to six months, then it was expanded to 12 months, then it was 18 months. Um, so when that happened, we as a loan servicer, we would put a, once that forbearance was done, maybe somebody used it for a month or maybe they used it for longer, mm -hmm. uh, we would put a second lien on their property. So first mortgage and they have the second lien on their property. So if they had to sell, they'd have to pay off both. Um, what this program will do is it then is it's going to pay the servicers back what they had paid in on behalf of the homeowner, basically making the homeowner whole. So they get their equity back that they would have made if they would have been able to make those payments and couldn't because of, for, of uh, COVID. Sure. And with about a minute left, who is eligible to apply? Uh, any homeowner in North Dakota that was affected by COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some income limits sure. uh, under the program. Mm -hmm. 150 percent of median is the initial uh, limit and then there's a, the other two pots of money have lower income limits uh, so but that covers a lot of people in North Dakota at 150 percent of median income so really what people should do is go out to the Department of Human Services website North Dakota help for homeowners and apply um, if you think you you are eligible uh, because you had a loan forbearance from your servicer go out and apply and let the Department of Human Services determine are you eligible based on your income for the help. Okay, a lot of information there. We appreciate yeah. you making it as a, as a uh, summarized as possible. So we'll have all this information on our website on this KX Conversation on KXNet.com. David, thanks again for being here. Thank you, Nick. Nice to be here.